All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a freaking MC Eternal. We we are getting into auto crafting today, guys. I'm so excited. I am I am honestly beyond excited. Uh, I want to show you guys something I did off camera though. Before we do that, I went ahead and made a resident energy cell. Now I have come back several times, and the reactor is offline because of some weird something weird that happened where you know the the lava over here gets. I guess um, like it picks up the glowstone, resonant glowstone, or whatever it's called, glowstone instead of the lava, and it clogs that system and then everything else. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get the stuff for auto-crafting. You're going to need a molecular assembler. This basically takes all the items. This will craft them for you. Uh, so we can get a few of these. All right, we need one more. And then, so we got our molecular assemblers, and then we need our ME interfaces. This tells the uh, molecular assemblers, hey, Kind of smacks them around and is like, hey, get in line. But I've already got some dense cables, so let's see here. We need to really expand our horizons. I don't know. Where, actually, we need to find out where we're going to put these. I have a, I have a pretty good feeling we're going to put these here. Uh, let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're just going to have a basic, basic one here. And so, oh, look at that. We have a cable here already. Beautiful. We just need to upgrade it. Okay. So, place one here, then here, then here, then here, then here, like so, then here, then here, then here, then here, oh wait, then here, then here, look at that, that is beautiful, and we can do go ahead and do that on the other side too, so these aren't going to light up like the other ones, these ones are actually already connected to the system here, but we want to go ahead and upgrade the cable that we're using, because this one only allows eight channels, and the one we we have allows 32. Uh, so we might be able to run the the molecular assemblers over on that side, off of this side of the channel, and then the ones that I had just showed you probably run over off of this side. So we're going to go here like this. So we just lost all connection to our Bob farm, as you can see. We just lost a bunch of essence. We lost all of our goodies, like iron to pearls, because that they're all connected via this cable. So we need to do is get down here. <laughs> too literal, too literal, too literal. Okay. So we need to come down here, and that's gonna be bad for a second. I didn't run this cable in the most linear fashion, but all we need to do is we just need to basically get it here, because there's only one connection coming from. This, uh, this way over here. And we need to go ahead and swap it. What the heck? Come on. We need to swap it out. Does that connect? Yes, that connects. Beautiful. Oh. Okay. Just just so much lag. Hashtag blame butcher. That's his fault. Okay. Um. Come up here. Okay, we don't want it connecting here. So we need to grab a cable anchor. Let's see, actually, though. Actually, we kind of need that to connect to here. Like that. Okay. So we're going to use a channel. And then we can go ahead and just block that off. So this should... The zero, zero channels have been connected. This device is online, though. Oh, wait. It's a seven of, 7 of 32. So we have one here that might actually be doing it, too. We should have connection. Yeah, we have connection back. Encore. We don't want this connection coming off of here. Yes. Did that lose it? That we'd lose a channel? We didn't. So, so it wasn't connected there, but that we're, now we're just, just in case. Okay, so all of these should be connected. They are. Uh, we only have we're only using seven channels, and I think I think it's only yeah that makes sense. So we're it only uses the ME channels. I I didn't know that before. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to run a cable over here. Mm, this makes it fun. Um, maybe we'll just go under. Aha, that works perfect. And then we can run. Oh, no, we don't have enough. So what we need to do is we need to put an anchor here. Say no, go. Ah, wrong one. 
put it here. It's very like directional oriented, I guess. It's kind of annoying sometimes, but you need to place them on the same side that they're connecting to. Okay, now come up here. Ah, freaking heck, another one. Got it. Okay, and then we're gonna come up and then we're gonna run this cable over here. I'm gonna go ahead and make some more dense cables. Okay, we have a total of 32 now. So let's go ahead and run these cables over. I think we, we actually just need to connect it to like the back of this molecular assembler. So we don't have that much to go, cool. So we just bring it over like so, and ta-da. Oh. <laughs> so we should see some, yes, there we go, cool. So we have all of, okay, Mr. Eagle. Easy on the hoities. So we just come over here, we fill this back in. Look, you don't even, you can't even tell that we were outside. <gasps> Look at that, it's beautiful. That's why I love Flight Energy 6, this one cable. It delivers power and the channel. Okay, so that means our, our auto crafting setup is technically complete. All we have to do now is just start to fill this stuff in. And to do that, to do, actually this is all ugly as heck. Yeah, ooh, ooh yeah, baby, ooh yeah. And then this comes here. And then you, you are here. Um, we'll place, we'll place this here. Like that. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that, guys. I'm auto crafting. Oh, missed that. Oh, no, I didn't. Just kidding. Okay, so to, we need an ME pattern terminal. ME pattern terminal. This guy right here. Check it out. So that's just a ME crafting table with some extra K-pop concepts. Okay, so we're gonna need to make a lot of things. This is why we are setting up auto crafting. See, like now, I remember back when we first started, like this was so, like an ME crafting terminal was actually very difficult to make. And now we make it in like three seconds, which is amazing, check us out. Look at this, we're already at the ME crafting terminal. ME pattern terminal, we already have one. Cool, so this will allow us to access all of those ME interfaces. These guys, it'll have it from one video. So normally, if you don't have it, you have to come down here, you have to put the patterns you make in the ME pattern terminal, you have to put them down here. Well, with this guy, with this little winder, you don't have to anymore. And I wonder if this is gonna kill the system. So we need to make this guy too, which is very simple. Okay, that's actually very easy. That should be gone. Oh, we have more, cool. Right, ME pattern terminal. This might kill the system. Maybe, no, it didn't. Cool, so check it out. If we look here, you can see all of the molecular assemblers, uh, redstone furnaces, that means, because I have, I have some ME terminals down here on the back of these. So I have these here. These are ME terminals, and this is how our items are, have been getting into our system. Uh, I have power running through the back there, as you can see from the conduit back there. Yep, right there. Uh, the the power system comes from there. But uh, this is the in and out of the system, or this guy here. So we can actually automate whatever we want to smelt, which is really, really cool and helpful. Because if we ever need any recipes that need to smelt, we have these three guys already set up. So to do that with the ME terminals, all you do is you basically take this, you put it into your crafting window, and it gives you this so you can place it beneath it. Uh, I believe you might be able to do it without making it the panel but it just helps it be directional which just helps my my ease of mind so i actually want to place this guy down here so this is like a like backup power for our system yep there we go <laughs> that had me worried for a second but yeah this is backup power for our me system even though we have uh, power here this is good, just going to be a backup we'll eventually upgrade this to a, a dense one by the way so it'll, it'll hold much more power so now that we have all of these, we need to make some patterns, obviously. So let's go ahead and make some of these. These are, yeah, they're a little expensive. We need the redstone, glowstone, and all those. Okay, so we need, was that quartz class? Okay, so this is gonna be one of the first things we automate. So we can go ahead, throw these into here. These are gonna be our patterns. And we're gonna turn this, let's see. Allow substitutions of input. So if you have different mods that have, say, different types of steel, it will allow you to use those different types of steel from those different mods. So it, it, it's basically super easy. So this is a processing, or so this is a crafting one. So any crafting recipes you put in here, and then this is a processing one. So say if we wanted to process glass, like we're gonna do, we're gonna need to grab some sand, like so. 
go like this, and then we're going to need to grab a glass block like this. And then we're going to need to say, hey, this is the output. Or not. Yeah, so that's the output, right? And then this is what creates it. So we make this a pattern, so it says, hey, from one sand we get one glass. Now if we come over here to our pattern terminal, to one of our redstone furnaces that smelts it, we now have our first recipe. So if we type here for glass, and even though we have a bunch in our system already, if we middle click with our scroll wheel, we can still craft it. So we're gonna make, let's say, a full stack. Do we have enough for a full stack? We do. So it says that we have 64 available sand to make 64 glass. But as you can see here, it says no crafting CPUs are available, which means we're gonna go ha have to go ahead and create some of those. Okay, so these are the crafting CPUs here. Uh, obviously, we're going to get further down the line, but we need to go ahead and make some of these real quick, but it's going to require some uh, cable. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get four of these. We're going to get some, uh, let's go, applied energistics. Where are you at? Let's see. Can we actually make you? Yes, we can. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. So we can take these and get our 1Ks out of here, which is good because then we can actually use them for a little bit. I only have one case right now, unfortunately. All right, so now we can combine these with our crafting CPUs. Now we need to have a good spot for these. So these are basically gonna be the brain of the processing. Now where would be a good spot for these? Maybe, maybe here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that, we have access right to our thing. Okay, so yeah, this is where we're gonna put them. So we're going to put, actually, can we put the guy up here? Come on, break, please. Hello. Housekeeping. Oh, shoot. Maybe break, too. So if we put this here, this should, ca nope, can't do that. There are certain configurations that this allows and won't allow, and that's obviously not one that it will allow. So we're going to have to connect it with a cable from the top. So let's go ahead and grab one. Um... We're gonna try a dense cable. I don't know if that'll work, so we're gonna grab just a normal ME cable as well. So let's see, if we just place this here. Okay, so that does connect. So now we do have access to crafting. So that was our crafting thing that we needed. So now those are connected. We can obviously make those bigger. We're obviously gonna make them 64Ks because those hold more. So these are these only allow a certain amount of items. So say if we were to wanna to craft up the Supremium, uh, essence, it wouldn't allow it because of the amount of essence we actually need to craft this premium essence. I don't know if that made any sense, but just, just trust me on that one. So now if we go to glass, come here like this, we middle click, let's go ahead and make a stack like that. And you can see it says crafting CPU automatic. We start this here and we look over back behind us and this is what is crafting. So we can speed that up and we are solid. We are crafting glass. See, it's going up. Bam. So now we can go ahead and say, hey, we need to make some of the applied energistics glass. So let's go here. Uh, is this it? No, this is not it. Oh, yes, this is it. Just kidding. Uh, I need to, it says you need to switch this over to a crafting pattern. Once we do that, we can see here. Oh, look at that. And it makes four of them. So we put that in here, so it basically tells us four quartz glass, right? It, we're make, we want to make four quartz glass with five surges quartz and four glass. And it says, hey, check it out. It's substitutable, so if we have different types of surges quartz glass, it will allow us to do it. And if we have different colored glass, it will allow us to do that as well. Now we come over here to our, our ME interface terminal and check it out. We can put that there. Let's go see if we can find which one that we put that in. Aha, there it is. Check it out. We found it. So this is the one we put our pattern into. If we take it out, we can see that we can pull out that one, but it also allows us to automatically put it into here. Now, the cool thing about the molecular assemblers is you can put speed upgrades in here so they craft even faster. So that is really, really freaking sweet. So let's see here. Let's make up a... Let's get a 1K auto crafting going. So if we have the items in our inventory, we, we can go like that. We go, hey, we don't want to use those. We want to use the normal surges quartz. And we're going to take just one of them, place it here like this. And we're going to make this non, non, like you can't substitute anything. So it has to use these surges quartz crystals. We can take, oh, did I just craft one? <laughs> we can take these patterns and we can throw them into our molecular assembler. Now, if you have 
uh, an item that requires more than one item to be crafted, it's better to have them separated by molecular assemblers because if you have them all into one uh, one ME terminal, it will have to go down the line. So say here, it'll have to craft this item, then this item, this, and this item. But if you have them in different one, you can have this molecular assembler going and this one. And the reason we set it up like this is to say this molecular assembler has access to, th or this ME interface has access to three molecular assemblers touched to it. So any any um, molecular assembler attached to this ME interface will be able to use any of the molecular assemblers, therefore making the crafting three times as fast. So this one here, um, this this quartz glass crafting, uh, will be able to craft three at, at a time. So we're, it's really going to be hauling butt, especially if you have the speed Ooh. upgrades in there. Oh, cool. Check it out. We're auto-processing something. Or we were. But very cool. So auto crafting has been set up. We can actually automate this guy up here and these two, but we're going to do that over at the um, at the sky base because we're going to set up a different island just for those. And I've already I've already figured out which island I'm putting for our auto crafting area, and it's going to be freaking legit. So with auto crafting set up, um, we're going to be able to make the supremium armor that I want to make. If we check here. This is the armor, let's see, not this stuff here, but this stuff here. These take quite a bit of auto crafting. They also take nether stars. So if you've noticed over the past few episodes, we just set up auto crafting this one. So be able to massively craft this guy, right? But we also set up a wither skeleton farm. So we're also going to have to, you know, get going to this. So uh, I think we, we can make a... Because we have a, a wither builder here. This allows us to build the wither. Uh, so we're going to have to kill a few of them, obviously. But then if we also use the mob crusher that we have set up, this thing will kill the wither in like two seconds. So this is going to be our best, but we're probably going to have like three or four of these set up in the wither killer room that we have. And we're going to be putting it into a compact machine. So the next episode, we're going to be working on compact machines. I love compact machines for this because if we put the wither killer in a compact machine and, you know, we, we get a few nether stars going and all of a sudden something breaks and like five withers get out, we can just like throw away the compact machine and we don't have to worry about it anymore and we'll, everyone will be okay like they can't get out of the compact machine so it's just like a very safe method of making a wither killer so we're going to be focusing on that in the next episode but guys if you did enjoy the video please make sure to hit that like button and i'm still super i'm glowing like i must be pregnant because i'm glowing but anyways guys i hope you all have a fantastic day thank you all so much for the support over the past few episodes and this whole series in general it is like we've gained as of this video we've gained 214 subscribers in the past 28 days so thank you all so much i will see you in the next episode you guys are awesome take care make sure you brush your hair i'll see you later love your face stay crafty